I can't believe I'm actually gonna be unboxing this on this channel. This is not something I planned on doing this year. In fact, uh, this is something that I wanted to exist, but have purposely kept myself away from because it was A, too expensive, might be kind of dumb, and uh, C, well, I don't want to be disappointed. Today, we're gonna be looking at a pair of smart glasses. And because they're from Razer, they've got some interesting features for gamers. So let's, let's get right into it. But first, some context on this product. These are smart glasses, according to, well, Razer. And there are a couple things that actually make them interesting. For one, these have dual lenses. So you can have either a blue light filter or you can use a polarized filter, which means you can use them outdoor as sunglasses or indoor as gamer glasses. Now, here's the thing. Gamer glasses have been around for a while. I've considered picking them up, trying them, even doing a video about them. Sunglasses have existed forever. Honestly, <laughs> I have lost every single pair that I've ever owned. Smart glasses that also function as headphones. Well, those have existed for a while too. Uh, Bose actually makes a pretty nice pair of them. Those were the first one I've ever actually tried on. I got to do a demo at a Target and I liked the idea and I wanted one ever since then. Too bad those glasses were like $250. These normally aren't much better, but <laughs> if I told you I bought them for $50, <laughs> you'd probably be like, what the heck happened? Uh, let's just say Thanksgiving had some really good sales on it. Look at this box. You're gonna notice something very interesting. Where is the gamery branding on the box? It, it looks almost sophisticated. And that's because, well, Razer's selling this for adults. This is Razer for adults, which makes me concerned about all the other Razer products I own. <laughs> and hilariously, I actually do have a very real, very adult field test planned for these glasses that we're gonna go through by the end of the video. So I guess technically, yeah, it's for adults. So these are the Razer Anzu. Uh, I'm going with the large size. They supposedly have low Bluetooth latency. We'll see about that. The lowest Bluetooth latency I've had, by the way, are on my daily drivers, which are Sony Link Buds. So we'll see how good that is. So yeah, let's go ahead and first, well, unbox this. I'm not even gonna look at the, what's inside. We're just gonna... All right, I'm gonna guess these are the actual glasses right here. And right here, it's got a magnetic flap. I love when Razer does that. I, I've said it before on this channel, I'm gonna say it again. I love when Razer does little details like that. So this should be, scan the QR code. These are our polarized lenses. Oh, those are thick. Pretty good. So they come in this nice little protective box. Nothing has to be like undone. It's all loose. That's like real concerning. All right, so inside here, I'm assuming is our glasses. And inside here is our documentation. Not a very gamery welcome to the cult type thing. That's kind of cool. Instruction booklet, which comes in a bunch of different languages. Microfiber cloth, specifically a glasses grade microfiber cloth. This is a, it's a little bit more coarse than what you would find in some of the softer ones. And that's just entirely to remove smudges and all sorts of things off of your glasses. I've never successfully worn my glasses. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I had a prescription at one point and I lost my glasses almost immediately. So if I can have these in a week and still know where they are, that's gonna be the real test of time. All right, let's get let's get a good uh, look at how this is gonna be. Pops right open. They are right here. Okay, and I feel like there's there's stuff in here. 
Wait, does this actually charge it as well? No, there's a, there was a charging cable. Oh, it stores it though. Okay, here we go. There's our charging cable. It's a little unique thing. It has two proprietary prongs that looks like they're magnetic connectors. And that is of course to charge your glasses. So let's just kind of It already entered pairing mode. That's interesting. It's like it knew that it was uh, time to pair. Try them on. I mean, what's the worst that happens? I look like an absolute dork. I'm gonna look like a dork no matter what. How do I look? I look like a dork. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Can I pull this off? Can I can I actually pull this look off? I have no idea. Let's pair it to my phone and see what happens. And we got 70% battery on these things. That, so far, the, the assistant doesn't sound too bad. Just generic British person. All right. So this is going to be the most complicated part of this because I'm sure the mics can pick up on this. I guess that's really a good test. Let's let's just play something like straight up. Like if you can hear it, it's just gonna be embarrassing. It's very compressed is how it feels. You know, like when um, something doesn't quite have the range to go all the way like to where it should be able to go. That's how it sounds right now. You know, actually, do I still have the Razer Audio app? I would say passable. Like, they're not the best audio experience that I've had, especially not at this price point. Or I'm going off their actual price point and not the $50 price point. At the $50 price point, they're pretty damn good. But um, if these were the $200 that they're supposed to be, I still think that these are better, but these are in-ears, so I mean, it's not bad. I mean, let me try something that's like mixed with like actual lyrics. It's not bad. I mean, yeah. it's definitely, it's got some good going for it. Like form factor. I mean, I can go Clark Kent whenever I want now. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, it, it, mm. You know, I'm on the fence about this because I like the fact that it's just like, boom, like this. That, the Windows notification sounded real clear. I thought that came from my computers that are off right now. This is so bizarre. It's like in some cases it's great and in others it's not. I am a little perplexed. Okay. So gaming mode is supposed to reduce the Bluetooth latency by compressing the band. But for some reason it sounds better as if it's almost not clipping anymore. Is this thing set to just clip? That is not what I was trying to do. All right, let's take a quick look at the sunglasses portion. You push forward on the lenses until they pop. Oh wow, that actually popped out easy. <laughs> No, I should actually probably review the sunglasses portion of this. Uh, I mean, these are some daylight bulbs and I can look right at them and I can't, uh, I don't feel the pain. That's pretty good. I mean, I, I don't normally wear sunglasses, so um, swabbing process was pretty easy. So I guess I'll probably, God, I'm gonna have to carry around everything. Let's get these bad boys charged up. We're gonna start using them in the field. And uh, by field, I mean, I'm gonna take them to work and uh, see how many people Question why I'm wearing glasses all of a sudden. Field test complete. So what did the real world think of these? Well, interestingly enough, they actually thought quite highly of them. Most people just thought that I got a pair of glasses, which is a good thing for tech wear because discretion is in the name. It wasn't until I explained what they were that people were blown away. They couldn't hear me listening to music literally a couple feet in front of them. And that, that is a huge win for these. 
Not only that, I come from a generation in which hiding your earbuds was a very common thing. So the people who worked with me who were also in that generation, they, they absolutely loved it. In fact, they loved it so much that some of them actually even looked up the glasses themselves and found out you can get prescription lenses for around a hundred bucks for them, which is crazy. Not only that, they actually got better with time. I don't know if it was an update that happened over the air or if it was just a random occurrence in which the speakers weren't properly seated and they moved themselves back into place. But as time went on, they became better. Charging them is a little weird. I do carry the charging cable with me, plug it into my work computer because around halfway through the day, I'm gonna have to charge it. But that's because I have a tendency to not charge it overnight. Like I probably should. Battery life isn't really that big of an issue though because with the blue light filter glasses, if you haven't worn them for a very long period of time, you may notice that you do need to kind of take them off periodically, just to let your eyes readjust. And because of the fact that they are not exactly form fit to your face and they have absolutely nothing to like hold it in, they can get a little uncomfortable over time. Also, piano finish is a fingerprint magnet. And because of that, they're not exactly the best when it comes to, well, keeping clean. And the glasses themselves do get dirty really easily. So unfortunately, there are some serious drawbacks, but at, well, what was it, $50, they're pretty awesome. And if you throw in an extra hundred for prescription lenses, you get a piece of tech wear that you actually could take everywhere. Overall, I actually really enjoyed them and I do like the idea. And I know that there are others out there that might even sound better. So if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment with it down below because I would like to try more tech wear out. But that's, that is where we're gonna end today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, consider giving it a like, maybe commenting, subscribing, clicking any of the other videos down here. Or if you really like this video, you can go ahead and give us a super thanks for the video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Wolfie, out.